Example Basics 5 Instruments shows how to use different instruments in Valent library. So, as I said in an earlier um, example, um, the, there's a very significant limitation in, um, in using the tone class and that uh, is that it can only play one note at a time. So um, this, this is okay for testing out simple structures, but, um, but oftentimes that is actually not enough. You really want to play like more than one note. So, um, so there's, uh, luckily there are instruments, um, the idea of instruments in, um, in tone. And they get, there's, by default there's 16, but you could easily also create more. But, um, but these 16 instruments, default instruments, allow to play 16 notes simultaneously um, to create more complex sounds. But also each instrument itself has some, some, um, some other properties, um, which are explained in later examples. Um, for example, changing the characteristic of the, of the sound um, through like, a, like an amplitude envelope, ADSR, or can also uh, use some low frequency oscillators to change the characteristic of the sound in a different way. So, um, but before I get into that, uh, let me just show you uh, how to use um, uh, the, the instruments in a way just to create uh, like polyphonic sounds. So, we start again at this um, at the boilerplate you know what I just copy this here actually I'm just gonna copy all of this um, this just gives us a, a, a good starting point okay so um, we will use the mouse to to play a note so uh, we, this is actually copied from the very first example, um, is to um, where we basically just played a note by going like this, note on, and then the frequency, and then also the velocity or volume. So if we do this now, let's kind of look see. Okay, I press I press the the mouse and it and it triggers a note and then if I remember correctly we also need to turn it off again released and then we just say tone note off okay just give it a try just to see if everything is like in a good default state okay good so what we can do now is that we instead of just um, sending a, a simple note on to tone, um, we can actually uh, select different instruments. And um, what actually is happening here is that this one is actually using the last selected instrument, um, which in our case, because we didn't touch it ever in our program, is instrument zero, so the first one. And um, there's instruments, as I said, 16 instruments from zero to 15. So what we can do now is we can um, now, instead of just sending, um, it's just, just, well, first maybe let's explicitly s select an instrument. So um, if we go tone instrument and then give it a number between zero and 15, so zero for example, we are selecting, um, this is a bit redundant, this point, but we're selecting the very first instrument and then we send a note on and that is then sent to the last selected instrument, zero in our case. Um, the, uh, this is a so-called state machine, so um, whenever we change the, whenever we select an instrument, it will be selected or remain selected until we select another one. It's pretty similar to, for example, this fill um, color thing in processing where we here select black as a fill color and it will be black until we select a different color for every object we draw. And in this case, for every tone we play, will always be sent to zero, to instrument zero. So uh, in order to get like another instrument, um, we need to say instrument again. Instrument, and then we, use the ne we just use the next one. Um, so, uh, and if we now send a note to it, um, it will play the same note on a, um, on a, um, on a, on a different instrument. And in order, 
so that we can also hear this, maybe we just uh, add 12 half, to half tones to it, which um, is actually one octave, so, so that would give us some kind of ha harmonious kind of um, combination of two notes. Um, also, down here, before we test this now, let me just add this here. Here, for turning the notes off, we also need to do this again. So, um, for each instrument individually. So, um, we need to say instrument zero, turn off your note, and instrument one, also turn off your note. So, now let's run this. If you can hear it, but it, it significantly changed its character. Character, the, the note. Now I make it like two octaves higher, then, and then you have like a really high pitch. It's actually quite nice, the two octave difference. But maybe do like let's just add a third instrument, um, just just to um, make the difference even more obvious. Um, I turn it on. I turn it off again. So instrument one, and then I'll just give it an offset of, um, let's say, different than in the example here, given an offset of, of like, let's say, seven, which is a quinte. So now. Okay, so. Um, Actually, you might have heard like a little blip in there that might be um, due to the fact that um, that they were a bit loud. Um, because uh, when you play multiple instruments at the same time, depending on the exact sound, that can add up in a, I would say, in, at least in the beginning, quite weird way to really exceed the maximum volume quickly. Um, so always make sure when you play multiple instruments at the same time that they that they get, don't get too loud, you know. So this is the three instruments playing at the same time now, and you can already hear the. As something that is that might not be audible to you on this um, on the uh, on this video here is that and there's another feature which I just wanna wanna talk about briefly. Um, that um, that's that is the um, that's the um, panning, the location of the sound on a stereo setup. So um, so, but maybe it's also interesting in in order to um, yeah, well, address another topic here, because um, so. I, I told you that with instrument zero we select an instrument and then whenever we just use this 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 note on this generic note on it will be sent to the last selected instrument. But we can but some functionalities and some features are really only available um, if you get like an instance of that um, last selected instrument directly. So if you go uh, tone instrument. Um, like this, um, you you have a few more features to to select from. So a tone dot instrument gives us a reference to that instrument instance and there we can use the set pan um, function on so maybe I'm just using it to all of those and um, that is that is defined in a way that negative values are on the left side and right uh, and positive values on the right side um, so minus one is all the way to the left no signal on the right plus one is all the way to the right, no signal on the left, and 0.5 is halfway to the right, for example. So now I'm distributing these three um, instruments um, across the across the range of the um, of the stereo a little bit across the range of the stereo spectrum here. So when I play them now, at least on my headphones now, they they appear here, here, and here. So this is what, what the pan uh, function does. Um, there are many, many more things available um, and many more other interesting things to do with instruments. Um, you can also use them within this DSP context so that you can actually design and, and create your own uh, instruments with some yeah, low-level DSP code. 
Um, but you could can also, as I said, like use low frequency oscillators or low pass filter or a, a low pass filter or um, some um, ADSR, some some volume envelope on these instruments to create already like quite a wide range of different um, sounds um, to work and sketch with. Okay, but this is it about instruments for now.